Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to kind of continue from where we left off in our last video, which we talked about how to add a section to a WPF page where you can drag and drop files into that. And we used the stack panel to drag and drop files and then spit out the file name at the very top. And if you haven't seen that video, I do recommend checking that out and I'll give you some uh, context as to what we're working with in this video. And also, if you want to help out the channel, if you want to help me out, much appreciated. I will have a link in the description and pin the first comment of uh, me commenting with a free trial of Amazon Prime. If you don't have it already, it's a free 30-day trial. Of course, you can cancel whenever, and um, it helps out the channel if you do use it. So, thanks in advance. Let's go ahead and just take a look at what we had in the last um, in the last video. So I have a, an application here that we can start and just to show you what the last video is all about. Um, we have this section in gray here where we can drag and drop a file. So I have this picture of a dollar bill that I am going to put in here. I have it on my other uh, screen if you're wondering where it's coming from. And it's called infoheader.png. I actually used it in an application of mine. Um, so I thought I would reuse it in this to show you guys. And what I want to do is I want to preview that image down here. Essentially I want to display the image. So Sometimes if you're asking for a file or specifically an image, you may want to preview it to the user to make sure they have the right image selected or they put in the right image to begin with, right? Um, they do this on, you know, big applications such as Instagram. You put it up and you get to see it before you actually hit that post. Um, I don't know the exact, uh, the exact process of Instagram because I actually haven't been on my Instagram in quite some time. But you get the idea. We want to be able to preview the image. And what I did since the last video, we can go ahead and look at the XAML, is before this took up both of these sections. And I what I did is I just added another row definition with the height of star. So now these both, both these stars hold the same amount of height. Uh, it splits it in half essentially. So if I had two star then it would be two-thirds of this section right here that I'm hovering over. Hopefully that makes sense. So if we had two star and two star, then it would look exactly the same as it does here. Uh, it's, it's the same as, as one star at each. So we have, uh, we have a section down here which I'm going to use as the image previewer. And what we want to do in XAML is just make an image uh, tag right here. And I'm not going to have open and close tags. I'm just going to make it one of those tags that closes in on its own. And um, we'll go ahead and give it a name. And we'll say, like, image previewer. OK, we want to make sure that it's going to be in the right row, which it doesn't look like it is. It's the very top by default. So we want to make grid.row equal to 2. And you can see right now uh, it's now highlighted in the right row. So that looks good. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need. Um, now, if we wanted to, we could actually have a source. Whoops. And with this source, we could send a, a new location of our image. But right now, the source is going to be dynamic, right? We don't have an exact location of the image. It's all dependent on what the user gives us. So we're going to leave the source pretty much blank right now. And we're going to mess with that in the back end after they drag and drop the image. Now we could if we wanted to make sure it is an image, but I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, of course, in good programming, that is definitely something you want to do. You want to make sure they're even, you know, submitting some kind of extension that is a an image and not like a text file or something like that and, and mess up some of your code. And then you're expecting, okay, uh, what's going on. Um, but I'm going to leave that up to you. We're just going to work on displaying the image and assuming that they give us a valid image. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the file path, which we can get from um, this array of files right here uh, that we got from the drop that they gave us. Um, so to do this, we need to make a URI uh, 
new object. So we'll name this file path. And if you're wondering what a URI technically is, because to be honest with you, I had no idea either. I have the document right here. And essentially, a URI is a compact representation of a resource available to your application. It says on the internet or internet, but it all, can also be local. Right? You can bring up local HTML uh, and run it in Google Chrome, and I guess it, it's not exclusive to both of these. So let's enough of that. Just think of it as a uh, well, just as it says, a representation of a resource available to your application. Okay, minimize that. So we'll get a file path and we'll create a new object, new URI, and then the only thing we need to pass in its uh, constructor is the file path, the string of the file path. So we're going to take the first index of these files array and um, make that the file path. So files zero and then now we have the file path. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new bitmap image and that is going to be what our source is set to. So I'm just going to create uh, it in the same line as setting the source. You can do this in two separate lines if you feel the need to. Um, but to make it a little more concise, I am just going to set the image previewer dot source equal to new bitmap image, and then we can pass in our URI. So we'll pass in our file path. Okay. So that's essentially all that we need to do. Um, so if we go ahead and hit run. Let's go ahead and get my dollar bill image. And now if I drag and drop it here, you can see it now displayed right here. Let me get another image just to show you. Um, so this is the brokerage app Robinhood. I have an image of its logo, so now I'll change it to that. And as before, we have a Robinhood logo.png, and now we have it kind of um, previewed here at the bottom, in this bottom row in our grid. And that's all you guys gotta do. Um, I wanted to make this video and I wanted to build upon what we did in the last video because I thought it was it was a really good good video to talk about dragging and drop files. And I thought how can we add on to that? Let's do an image previewer. So hopefully you guys found that useful and informative and thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.